za Kate and Leo. Msukosuko wa kikatiba unanukia nchini wiki chache zijazo kutokana na kutokuwa na makamishi na saba katika tume huru ya mipaka na uchaguzi IBC. Licha ya muda wa kikatiba wa kuendesha chaguzi ndogo katika maeneo bunge na wadi kadhaa kupita, tayari tume hiyo ilipaswa kuwa imeanza uratibu wa mipaka mipya ambayo makataa yake kikatiba ni mwezi Aprili mwaka huu. Na kama navyo ripoti ripota wetu mwandamizi wa masuala ya siasa Chris Thairu, mchakato wa kuajiri makamishi na wapya tayari umesitishwa kutokana na misimamo mikali ya kisiasa kati ya muungano wa zimio na ule wa Kenya kwanza ni takriban miezi 14 sasa tangu kujiuzulu kwa makamishi na wanne wa IEBC waliojulikana kwa jina la Cherera 4 na kustaafu kwa aliyekuwa mwenyekiti wa IEBC wa Fulatebukati na makamishi na wengine wawili tangu wakati huo Tume hiyo imesalia tu kama gofu kutokana na kutokuwepo kwa makamishna. Miezi kumi na moja tangu kifo cha mbungu wa Banisa Kulo Hassan Malim, spika wa bunge la taifa Moses Wetangula, ameshindwa kutangaza kiti hicho kuwa wazi pamoja na wadi zingine tatu maeneo mbalimbali nchini. Matters IBC are closely intertwined to the right of representation of Kenyans. And the right of representation is supremely sacrosanct, such that even their timelines that are given in the constitution, within which an, a by-election ought to be held, because of that right of representation. Can the IEBC run itself? Can the processes be run even in the absence of commissioners? This particular question was responded to by the Court of Appeal in the famous case of Mungu Martin, whereby the court concluded that we must have commissioners for certain decisions and processes to be undertaken and that is the law so without commissioners of the IEBC we cannot have by elections kipenge cha 100 na moja cha katiba kinaeleza kuwa uchaguzi mdogo unapaswa kufanyika ndani ya siku tisini baada ya kutangazwa kuwa nafasi hiyo iwazi hili bado halijafanyika hivyo basi kuzua swala la haki ya wakilishi wa wenyeji wa maeneo hayo we are playing a case or tempting God uh, in a very very dangerous way because were anything to happen that would require uh, an election to be conducted uh, then we would find ourselves in very very uh, difficult uh, circumstances and, and that's where the the supremacy of the constitution ought to always come because even the courts can actually direct that indeed within this particular period the IBC ought to have been reconstituted because we cannot have this otherwise a constitutional crisis can lead to so many other things istoshe inchi bado inakumbwa tena na msukosuko kikatiba kutokana na makataa ya kuratibu upya mipaka ya maeneo bunge ambayo makataa yake ni aprili hii what would happen if the constitutional period within which uh, these boundaries have to be reassessed expires before the IBC is put into place even when you look at the secretariat it is already dysfunctional as we speak so to a large extent you need a secretariat that is functional and that will actually work in in in, in coherence with the commissioners Jopo la kuwateua makamishi na wapya wa IBC lazimika kusimamisha mchakato huo ili kutoa nafasi kwa mazungumzo kati ya muungano wa zimio na Kenya Kwanza na ripoti ya mazungumzo hayo iko mbele ya bunge kwa mjadala we are naked as a country we are not seeing the shame as of now and i don't know we are waiting for who to tell us that we are naked Tayari mkurugenzi mkuu wa IEBC Marjan Hussein amenukuliwa akisema kuwa tume hiyo imekuwa katika msukosuko wa kikatiba tangu makamishi na wote waondoke swala ambalo limefanya tume hiyo kushindwa kutekeleza majukumu yake ya kikatiba kwa sasa mjadala huo wa IBC upo mbele ya bunge la taifa na wakenya wataendelea kusubiri hadi pale wabunge watatoka likizoni ili kujua hatma ya IEBC Krista Eroketi News Nairobi